All right, so we're going to really quick show you step by step how to set up a Google My Business listing for your business and then how to uh, get it verified. So uh, first thing you're going to want to do is just type in Google My Business. Easiest way to do it. Uh, you're going to want to click on this one down here, which will take you to google.com slash business. So that would be your other option. Just go direct to that domain there. We're going to go to manage now and we're going to switch the email address so you can see from scratch as to what it'll look like for you. All right, so this is the page that it'll bring you to. And uh, what you want to do is type in your business here. So we are going to just set up a, a new um, business listing here. So we will call it uh, Fake Business. We will add our business to Google. Type in the business name again. Next. You want to choose a business category. Now, you can always add more later, which I highly encourage you to do so you can show up for more categories uh, when people are searching for your industry. Um, but for now, we'll just say construction. You can see there's a whole bunch of in here, but you want to pick that main one that uh, is the main category for your business. Do you want to add a location? So if you have a physical location that you want your address to show up with your listing, you would click yes. Uh, if you just want it to be a service area, meaning it doesn't show your specific location, just the city that you're in, then you would click no. So for this example here, we'll click no. Uh, where do you serve your customers? So this is where you would put in the city. And you can always change or add more later. Your phone number. Your current website. Uh, if you don't have a website, then you'll want to uh, either get a free website based on your info. So this is setting one up for Google. Like Google will set one up for you, which is usable enough. It's not great, but it's a start if you don't have one. Um, or I don't need a website. And you would just click that there. Oh, we got an invalid phone number here. I'll just put in my phone number. Go. If you want some updates from Google, they, they'll give you some helpful tips here and there. So, you know, we can select no for that. And there we go. It's all set. And then this is where you would provide your mailing address. So this is hidden from the public, as you see here. Uh, if you selected not to have your address show on your Google My Business listing, if you did want to show it, then um, you still have to enter your address in there just at an earlier screen. Uh, so this is where we would enter in our address. We'll just throw mine in there. The province. And next, or you can click verify later. So for this, I will just click verify later because we don't actually want to verify it. Uh, so as a construction company, you can now select the other industry, other specialties that you um, operate within. So let's say we install flooring as well. Uh, and then, of course, if you don't see um, the specialties that you want to select in there, you can always add those custom services. So things like plumbing or HVAC or uh, different things like that, framing. 
add your business hours. Now you want these to match exactly what is on your website because Google's want to going to want to verify the the information that you put on here is correct with what's on your website. So you just want to set those hours. By default, it'll set to 24 hours uh, unless you go in and fill those out. There we go. So you do have to go in and fill them out. So we'll just put it default for 24 hours. This is a, a hard working construction company. <laughs> And then you want to type in your description. Now you get 750 characters here to fill this out. Uh, obviously, you want to be as detailed as possible in here and, and let people know what it is that your company is all about. And then this is something that's really important as well as adding photos. So you want to add at least three photos of the business that is being done. So work that is being completed. You want to add three photos of your team. So if it's just yourself, you meeting with a client, uh, just a headshot of yourself and maybe one of you actually working. Um, and then you wanna add three photos of the business itself. So even if you are a service-based business, Google still likes to see that there is a physical location. So taking a photo of you know, the house that you're operating in, uh, maybe your office set up and you know, the location that's around you, but you want to have at least three photos of your office as well. Um, again, it's just something that helps verify that the business is legit and it's not a fake business like the one that we are doing on here right now. And then this is what your dashboard is going to look like. So anytime you log into Google My Business from here on out, this is what you're going to see. You can see here our, ours is only 60% complete because we haven't filled out any of those uh, different aspects and letting people know what it is that we're actually up to. Um, Google gives you a credit as well for Google Ads, which is great to take advantage of. So when you spend $50, you get $100 in free credit. Uh, this is where you're going to manage your reviews. You won't be able to manage those until you verify your Google My Business listing. So when you fill out that information of where your physical address is, Google will either mail you a postcard or they will verify it via text message, uh, which I've seen them do occasionally right now, especially with COVID. Uh, they've been doing that a little bit more, but you need to verify your business before you can respond to those reviews, which is something that is absolutely essential in order to get that little bit of a ranking boost when it comes to your business listing showing up on the Google search results page. Um, yeah, this is the, the dashboard that you're going to see. Uh, you can add, uh, um, you know, a business manager to your page. Uh, so if someone else is looking after your, your Google My Business account, you can add them on. So like an agent, an ad agency like ourselves or something like that. You can put posts in here and create offers, which are really useful uh, and help anyone know what it is that you're up to and what types of offers that you have. This is where you're going to edit your info. Um, you can add your location in here if you want to change from, uh, you know, you were working out of your house and now you have a physical location. You can update that on here and add that in. You can change your hours, add special hours, add your website once that's complete, and then add in your services as well and your additional services that you offer. The business description, opening date, lets people know, you know, how long you've been in business for. Um, Google Insights, so this is, they're going to start to give you feedback on uh, just some analytics with how your Google My Business listing is showing up. Here we will manage our reviews. Uh, you can set up messaging. So this is where someone can message you directly through your Google My Business listing, and then you can add your photos onto here. So it's really simple, but it is 100% essential to your business that you get this done and you get this up because those signals of reviews are so huge and it's just something that people care about. You know, they want to know how your business is showing up online and what people think about you. So there's a video. Hope you like it. Hope it helps. And uh, we'll see you next time.